In the figure below, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CBD. Prove that triangle AFD is congruent to triangle CFE. So we're going to approach this using a two-column uh, proof. And uh, I've already drawn the statement of reason chart, uh, and I've written the givens out. And if you haven't done so, please uh, please go and do that. Um, so looking at this, okay, we're trying to prove two triangles congruent. So let's just recall real quickly how many different ways we can prove triangles congruent. We can have, prove triangles congruent using side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side. And lastly, hypotenuse leg. But this one is only appropriate when, we're, when we know we are dealing with right triangles, which in this case, even though the triangles are drawn looking like a right triangle, doesn't necessarily have to be a right triangle. So I'm going to exclude this. We're just going to focus on these four, okay? So, and also just another point to, um, to make, looking at the four different ways that we can prove triangles congruent, we need at minimum one side congruent. We cannot just prove triangles congruent using only angles. So we do need to prove a side congruent. Let's look at the diagram and let's um, analyze it a little bit, okay? Triangle AFD and triangle CFE, they share certain angles congruent. So I immediately see that this angle and this angle are going to be congruent because of vertical angles. Let's write that down. So AFD is going to be congruent to angle EFC because they are vertical angles. I also recognize that between the two triangles that are given, the two larger triangles, angle A is going to be congruent to angle C. You can tell this also just by the way in which the given was stated, right? Angle A and angle C, they correspond. So I can say angle A is congruent to angle C. This is because of CPCTC corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So now I have two angles. I need one side. And the side could either be, could be any of the three. Okay. Uh, looking at this right now, I see here between the two triangles that are given that are congruent, I know that side, uh, let's see here, I know that side AB so AB is going to be congruent to side CB. So I'm going to indicate that with a highlighter. So AB is going to be congruent to BC or CB. And the reason for that is because of CPCTC. I also recognize, I'm going to use a different color. I also recognize that uh, that BE is going to be congruent to BD. And I'm going to use red for this. So BE is going to be congruent to BD. So those segments are going to be congruent. Why am I pointing that out? Well, that's because I can then prove using segment addition postulates that segment AD is going to be congruent to segment EC. Those segments are going to be congruent. So let's write out the um, all, all the th different things that I've listed thus far, okay? So the segments that are in blue, the, the highlighted in blue, I can say that um, BC or AB is congruent to CB. And I can also say that uh, BE is congruent to DB or BD. And the reason for this is, again, CPCTC and CPCTC. Now, why, why am I doing this? Because I want to show 
that AD plus DB that is equivalent to AB and I also know that uh, BE plus EC is equal to CB. And this is because of the segment addition postulate. Same reason for the next step. So because I know AB and CB are congruent, so step line number four, and I know that AB is made up of those segments and CB is made up of those segments, so line six and seven, I'm gonna perform a substitution. I wanna say in line number eight, Instead of writing AB is equal to CB, I want to say AD plus DB is equal to BE plus EC. And this is because of substitution. Of which lines? I'm substituting line 6 and 7 into line 4. Once I have that established, I also know from the previous step that uh, BE is congruent to BD, right? Actually, I am going to make this a little more consistent. I wrote BD here, so I should say BD instead of DB, just so that it will work out a little nicer. So I know that BE is congruent to BD, right? So I can say uh, 9 BD is equal to BE because of symmetric. Right? I'm taking line 5 and I'm just reordering it, rearranging it. Now what I'm going to do with this, look at line uh, 8 and 9 is I'm going to perform a subtraction. I'm going to take line 8 and subtract it by line 9. And I have AD will therefore equal to EC. So this is because of subtraction. Of which lines? Line 8 minus line 9. So AD is equal to EC, AD is equal to EC, which I just have now proven. Uh, so therefore, line number 11, I can say triangle AFD will therefore be congruent to triangle uh, CFE. And the reason for this will be angle angle side. 